Hello, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks with spoons, cards, coins, pens, elastic bands, silks, candles, glasses, cups, ropes, pencils, plates, oranges, dogs, dice, Rubik's Cube, small child, straws, socks, shirts, pants. So I hope you like that little intro there, the little coins from card which you can find in the J Bobo Modern Coin Magic. Little routine that I'm working on, not perfect, I know, but still working on it. I've known about the moves for a long time, for years, but it's not something that I perform that often. But I hope you enjoyed it. So at the moment, I'm thinking the old beard, it's getting a little bit wild. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't really care, but let's see, what do you think? With or, hmm, better? What do you think? No? Or shall I? Without? No. no. With? Mm, I'm not too sure. Oh, let's just go for it. I think. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, I know beard. And I just need to get my hair cut. <laughs> I've just bought a nice trunk for the cards. In fact, let me show you this. I bought this over the weekend. This nice little trunk for 15 pounds from a car boot. You see inside, this is where I keep all of my old cards. Quite a nice little find from the car boot. 15 pounds, bargain. Good fun, I quite enjoy going to a car boot now and again. You can find some really cool things for your magic, things you could use for tricks. Your 1900s container, I don't know what I used it for, but I think it's pretty nice, 15 pound, bargain. Also what I found when I was clearing out all my old cards, so check this out. So here's what I found, have a load of change. You can borrow the change obviously, and this little metal copper disc here. What you do is you can take a coin, and you can place it, in fact, let's take the two pound coin, that's a bit bigger. And we'll, we'll use the two pound coin, but if you watch, you just place the disc on top of the two pound coin, like so. Give it a blow, and the coin actually changes into a penny. And you can do that with anybody's change. And I think that's a really cool effect. My chin, I don't know if I like my chin. That little effect, I don't know what it was called, I found it in a little sealed bag at the bottom of all the cards I was sorting out. If you know, let me know. <sighs> Costa, cost a lot. And today I'm gonna to do another effect from Miracle Material by Michael Kaminskis. I think this book's really, really cool. I've covered a load from this. I've been working on this one, but first of all, I just wanna show you a trick that I've actually posted before. I wanna show you it again. Get into that, let me know what you think and I'll see you after the new effect. Okay, for this effect, we have a coin, cork lid, and this jar, solid. Now the spectators can sign the coin, but considering it's only me here, well, I think it is, I won't bother. Now if I take the cork lid and the jar, as you can see the jar is empty. I place the cork on the jar, just like so. We'll take the coin, place it in the hand. Now watch it on the count of one, two, three. The coin is passed through the glass. The spectator can actually take the lid off, pour out the coin. Everything can be examined. The cork, the glass, everything. I think you'll agree. That's a pretty good trick. There you have it. I think you'll agree. Lovely little trick, and that's called You Marked It. And that is a completely impromptu coin into bottle, which I think is really, really nice. And I think you've done a really good job there. So let's get into this next effect. It's quite nice, see what you think, and I'll see you after. Just can't get used to it. Okie dokie, this is a nice one. We'll take some cards, we'll give the uh, cards a little mix, and a spectator can in fact call out stop whenever they wish. In this case, the Queen of Diamonds. Nice card. We'll take the Queen of Diamonds from here 
And what you do is you actually make it look like you're tearing the card into pieces. But in reality, you're not. It just looks like you are. It is called an illusion. Now, if you watch the pieces go on top here, just like so, watch carefully, is all I've got to do is take that Queen of Diamonds from here, give it a little wave, and the card actually transforms into a whole card. And that is how you restore a card. Everything can be examined, even me. That one was simply called Restored. I think it's a nice little effect and I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Some more tricks from Miracle Material. As I say, this is a fantastic book. DM'd him a few times on Instagram. Nice chap, very nice chap. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please, if this is the sort of thing you like, if this is the sort of uh, material that you like, <laughs> then please make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button, because I really, really appreciate it. And once you have subscribed, make sure you press the bell. So you don't miss any of my videos. Because you don't want to miss any of them. They're fun. It's all about not taking life too seriously. A bit of magic on the way. Be sure in the comment section, with the beard or without, I don't know. Some people say they like it, some people say they don't. I just don't know. So I'll be back again next week. Have fun, look after yourselves. See you next time.